making the decision to go in. Phil, Centerville, Massachusetts, about five minutes left with our guest. Go ahead. Yes, uh, uh, good morning, uh, Representative. I have two questions. Um, the first question is, and I'm not a uh, birther, I mean, 9 11 uh, truther. I just want to know did the, the question of Building 7, did that question come up and how it collapsed during the, um, the commission? And also, if, if it didn't, why not? Building 7 was a major focus of our investigation. Uh, building 7 was not one of the really big towers, but it was a substantial building, I think 30, 40 stories high. It collapsed. It was not hit directly by the airplanes. And there was a huge debate, still is a debate, as to why that building collapsed. Uh, we on the commission were not engineers, uh, certainly not experts on why buildings collapse. Uh, what we did was we consulted with the engineers of the country, and they came up with their best judgment as to why that building went down. I don't remember all the details, but in, uh, the basic point of it was that there was intense heat developed within the building. The sprinkler systems did not work, and uh, such intense heat built up that the building eventually collapsed. Now, a lot of people have been looking into that since 9-11 uh, uh, Commission reported. They've had a lot of criticism of the Commission because they didn't think we explored it properly. Uh, we did what we could do. We consulted the experts. And, of course, experts often disagree with one another. So I think that debate continues. Uh, I've heard all kinds of explanations as to why Building 7 collapsed. Uh, I don't pretend to be an expert on that. Uh, some of the ideas put forward uh, were, don't make a lot of sense to me, but then I'm no engineer and I don't know anything much about architecture. Uh, but we took the word of uh, the best advice we could get, and they gave the reason, which we spelled out in some detail uh, in the commission report. Lee Hamilton, what's your, what's your response to those folks? And by the way, we did a full segment on this program on Building 7 and some of the conspiracy <laughs> theories regarding 9-11, but what's your general response to folks who think 9-11 was an inside job or pre-planned? I just don't think there's very much evidence for it, and there's a good bit of evidence for what we found. We, we were charged with the responsibility of determining uh, how this happened, uh, Building 7 and all the rest of it. Uh, we wrote the story in a, a very telling chapter, the first chapter of the report, uh, bestseller, incidentally, in uh, the book sales in this country. I think that story has basically held up. Uh, there are a lot of people who don't agree with all the facts of it, but at the end of the day, uh, you, you can't just theorize here. You have to bring forth hard facts. When you're investigating these complicated events, you get thousands of suggestions. Literally every morning, hundreds of emails would come in with suggestions of what should be done and what should not be done. You go through those things the best you can with a, a limited staff. You make judgments as best you can under the circumstances. I think we basically got it right on the, uh, on the evidence we had. Uh, now, evidence may develop in years ahead. It will change some part of our story. I don't think it has thus far. I think we basically got it right. Uh, you, you, you've got to get hard facts. Uh, to support any idea that uh, you have with regard to what happened on that terrible day.